Molds on food. Are they dangerous? Some molds cause allergic reactions and respiratory problems. And a few molds, in the right conditions, produce mycotoxins, poisonous substances that can make people sick. When you see mold on food, is it safe to cut off the moldy part and use the rest? To find the answer to that question, delve beneath the surface of the food to where the molds take root. What are molds? Molds are microscopic fungi that live on plant or animal matter. No one knows how many species of fungi exist, but estimates range from tens of thousands to perhaps 300,000 or more. Most are filamentous, thread-like organisms, and the production of spores is characteristic of fungi in general. These spores can be transported by air, water, or insects. Unlike bacteria that are one-celled, moles are made of many cells and can sometimes be seen with the naked eye. Under a microscope, they look like skinny mushrooms. In many moles, the body consists of root threads that invade the food it lives on, a stalk rising above the food, and spores that form at the end of the stalks. The spores give mold the color you see. When airborne, the spores spread the mold from place to place like dandelion seeds blowing across a meadow. Moles have branches and roots that are like very thin threads. The roots may be difficult to see when the mold is growing on the food and may be very deep in the food. Foods that are moldy may have invisible bacteria growing along with the mold. Are some molds dangerous? Yes, some molds cause allergic reactions and respiratory problems, and a few molds in the right conditions produce mycotoxins, poisonous substances that can make you sick. Are molds only on the surface of foods? No, you only see part of the mold on the surface of the food. Grey fur on forgotten bologna, fuzzy green dots on bread, white dust on cheddar, coin-sized velvety circles on fruit, and furry growth on the surface of jellies. When a food shows heavy mold growth, root threads have invaded it deeply. In dangerous molds, poisonous substances are often contained in and around these threads. In some cases, toxins may have spread throughout the food. Where are molds found? Molds are found in virtually every environment and can be detected both indoors and outdoors year round. Mold growth is encouraged by warm and humid conditions. Outdoors, they can be found in shady, damp areas or places where leaves or other vegetation are decomposing. Indoors, they can be found where humidity levels are high. What are mycotoxins? Mycotoxins are poisonous substances produced by certain moles found primarily in grain and nut crops, but are also known to be on celery, grape juice, apples and other produce. There are many of them and scientists continually discovering new ones. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO of the United Nations, estimates that 25% of the world's food crops are affected by mycotoxins, of which the most notorious are aflatoxins. What is aflatoxin? Aflatoxin is a cancer-causing poison produced by certain fungi in or on foods and feeds, especially in field corn and peanuts. They are probably the best known and most intensively researched mycotoxins in the world. Is mushroom poisoning caused by molds? No, it is due to the toxin produced by the fungi, which is in the same family as molds. Mushroom poisoning is caused by the consumption of raw or cooked mushrooms which are higher species of fungi. The toxins that cause mushroom poisoning are produced naturally by the fungi. Most mushrooms that cause human poisoning cannot be made safe by cooking, canning, freezing, or any other processing. The only way to avoid poisoning is not to eat poisonous mushrooms. Are any food molds beneficial? Yes, molds are used to make certain types of cheeses and can be found on the surface of cheese or developed internally. Blue vein cheeses such as Roquefort, Blue, Gorgonzola and Stilton are created by the introduction of P. Rock 40 or Penicillium Rock 40 spores. Cheeses such as Brie and Camembert have white surface molds. Other cheeses both an internal and a surface mold. The molds are used to manufacture these cheeses are safe to eat. Why can mold grow in the refrigerator? While most molds prefer warmer temperatures, 
they can grow at refrigerator temperatures too. Moles also tolerate salt and sugar better than most other food invaders. Therefore, moles can grow in refrigerated jams and jelly and on cured salty meats, ham, bacon, salami and bologna. How can you minimize mole growth? Cleanliness is vital in controlling mold. Mold spores from affected food can build up in your refrigerator, dishcloths and other cleaning utensils. Don't buy moldy foods. Examine food well before you buy it. Check food in glass jars, look at the stem areas on fresh produce and avoid bruised produce. Notify the store manager about mold on foods. Fresh meat and poultry are usually mold free but cured and cooked meats may not be. Examine them carefully. Exceptions. Some salamis, San Francisco, Italian, and Eastern European types have a characteristic thin white mold coating, which is safe to consume. However, they shouldn't show any other mold. Dry cured country hams normally have a surface mold that must be scrubbed off before cooking. How can you protect food from mold? When serving food, keep it covered to prevent exposure to mold spores in the air. Use plastic wrap to cover foods you want to stay moist, fresh or cut fruits and vegetables, and green and mixed salads. Empty open cans of perishable foods into clean storage containers and refrigerate them promptly. Don't leave any perishables out of the refrigerator for more than two hours. And use leftovers within three to four days so mold doesn't have a chance to grow. How should you handle food with mold on it? Buying small amounts and using food quickly can help prevent mold growth. But when you see the moldy food, don't sniff the moldy item. This can cause respiratory trouble. If the food is covered with mold, discard it. Put it into a small paper bag or wrap it in plastic and dispose in the covered trash that children or animals can't get into. Clean the refrigerator or pantry at the spot where the food is stored. Check nearby items that moldy food may have touched. Mold spreads quickly in fruit and vegetables.